All right, so everybody been drooling about the Apple Vision Pro and all. I'm gonna give it a break for a second. As impressive as it is, this is an eye-watering 3,500 plus tax, I must add. In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the Meta glasses. In collaboration with Ray-Bans, this is the Wayfinder. They look like regular glasses, but there's definitely some tech that's inside of these. I'm not even gonna lie with you guys, I've been sleeping on these. I just got this last month, January 2nd to be exact. Just a bunch of YouTubers actually picked this up. When I went to Vegas uh, to attend CES, I saw a lot of YouTubers with these on and thankfully I brought these before I traveled to Vegas. And I gotta say, this was definitely the start of the show. Okay. Hey, you wanna hang up your coat? There's coat check at the end of the uh, Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. What makes these so special, you actually have a camera right on the front of the glasses. So you guys see that? It's on the left side, right? So you have a camera here. On the other side, you have your indication light. So this is the status to let you know what's um, being recorded. So in this case, I'm gonna take a picture by pressing the button on the top once. So you see that flash? I'm gonna press and hold it. Now I'm recording. So there's a LED light. And the reason why you even have a camera, this is gonna give you a FOV of everything. So essentially, it gives you this cool effect of a camera just floating right in front of you. So whatever you see in, it gives you a first person perspective. And it came in super clutch in Vegas because it's tech everywhere. I'm greeting with people and I'm talking to CEOs, I'm meeting YouTubers. It's just amazing to get a first person perspective on what you see in is what the video sees. Yeah, it's for um, Instagram and stuff like that. Now, it's not perfect. It's not perfect at all because the camera is on the left side. So if you want to record something, you got to make sure you're into the frame on the left side. You got to make sure you're in the frame. It's not like the camera is in the middle, which would have been cool to have a camera in the middle, but it would look kind of look a little techy. And that's one of the main things on why I like this glasses so much. It doesn't look too out the ordinary. It, they look like regular glasses. And by the way, these are the transitions. I got a shout out to Kevin Breeze TV for even recommending the transition because I was planning on getting the regular sunglasses where it's just sunglasses. What you get is what you get. But these are the transitions. So if I'm indoors, it's gonna be clear, right? So they're regular clear glasses. If I'm outside in direct sunlight, is gonna transition to sunglasses. And the transition is so seamless and so smooth. It's just a gradual increase of the tint of your glasses. It's actually pretty jaw dropping. Now, it would've, been cool, it would've been cool to have a toggle button to turn on sunglasses mode or turn it off to have them clear again. Thank you. How you doing? Hello. Lower. Thank you. And anytime you take a picture or a video, there's actually an indicator light on the right side. So you'll know when you're recording. It's not on the actual glass. It's like by the frame on the side. So you can see on your peripheral that you're recording, which is nice because you're not going to see anything. It's not like the Apple Vision Pro where you have all your apps floating on real life. It's not like that. And the amount of pictures and videos that I took is just absolutely jaw dropping. The fact how you can get some unique shots. Oh, this is me. Uh, I was wondering. And it's something that you can technically do if you have an Instant 360 Go 2, which I reviewed on the channel, but it just requires you to have a camera mounted on somewhere. It doesn't even stop there. You actually have some speakers on the glasses itself. And, and let me tell you, these speakers are actually pretty good. It's loud enough where you can listen to your music, um, play podcasts, audiobooks, but you can listen to it max volume, but the person next to you is not going to hear it as loud. All right, so here's a quick little sound test. Of course, I'm playing some non-copyrighted music. That was maximum volume. I can hear it loud and clear. Good amount of bass. Not the most bass heavy, but it's enough where I can hear it and also hear my environment too as well. But if you lower down the volume to 50%, they're not going to hear nothing. 
Literally, they're not going to hear nothing. You also have microphones, so talking on the phone on these, it, people can hear me loud and clear. It's no sort of disconnect. It sounds just like AirPods, essentially. This is a microphone test of the Meta glasses. Tell me who can catch a toucan, lucan. Just how few can ride the toucan, toucan. What kind of glue can stick it to the toucan, glue can. Let me know down in the comments down below how's the microphone quality. It's like having AirPods built into your glasses, so you don't need to put anything in your ears. You can just have these on, and it doubles as your AirPods, a camera. You also have your touch controls here, so it's basic. So you press it one time to play, pause your music. And you can increase the volume by sliding your finger. So this is max volume. Can you guys even hear it? All right, so I'm playing music right now. All right, so you tap to play pause, you double tap it to get to the next track, and you triple tap to get to the previous song. You swipe either left or right to control your volume. <laughs> no, thanks. I'll take one. <laughs> oh, it's like a regular, regular notepad. Yeah, I can smell the food already. The food's always the best in that part. Okay. I didn't want to rub it in Joe's face so I didn't say it, but the food is always amazing. <laughs> These are probably good for school too. I mean, don't tell your professors. I mean, uh, the fact how you can be able to listen to music, because sometimes people work differently. Like when I'm editing my videos, I like to have a little music in the background. So even when I was going to school, I like having a little bit of music as I'm doing like my math homework or English homework or anything. Hey. Hey. Uh, have you um, bought a ticket yet? Um, by scanning the QR code? Oh uh, no, well, I have a CES badge. That's fine, but you still have to purchase a ticket for the day. Okay. And, but really the meat and potatoes of these glasses, and I really don't care about it too much, these are meta, you have meta AI. So you can say things like, Hey meta, what's 25 times 36? 25 times 36 is equal to 900. Hey meta, when is Easter this year? Easter Sunday falls on March 31st, 2024. Spell sophistication. Sophistication is spelled as S-O-P-H-I-S-T-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. What time is it? It's 1041 AM. Hey Meta, what's the weather in Miami? In Miami, Florida, it's currently mostly cloudy and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I, I'm not really too crazy on that because, well, I'm walking around with an Apple Watch already. I have my iPhone in my pocket. I already have wearables that, that are smart. You know, I, I really don't care about having this on my glasses. Hey, Meta. Look and tell me what you see. I see a person's workspace with two screens, a keyboard, and a leather bag. On one screen, there is a video editing software open with a timeline and a preview window showing a clip of a person speaking. The other screen has several windows opened, including what appears to be a download manager and a YouTube video playing MKBHD. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious, bro. <laughs> nah, that's pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. That's cool. That's cool. It's like different responses every time. I see a person editing a video on Final Cut Pro with the interface and timeline visible on their screen. I'm blown away with that actually. <laughs> that's cool. That That's pretty cool. Now setup was very simple. You download the Meta app and yes, that's a curse word to some people saying Meta, Meta this, Meta that, you know, your privacy is at risk. Yes, this is the, um, yes, these are Meta. These are Meta and a lot of people don't trust it and especially linking up your Facebook account and Instagram, you have to have the Meta app to, in order to use these. And yes, that can concern for some people because Facebook or Meta is known for selling data and information. So I do understand why some people might be turned off by that, but um, it is what it is, man. I want some of the, um, the trip. Trip? Yeah. Anytime you record or take pictures, it lands right on the Meta app and then you can be able to import it to your camera roll onto your iPhone or Android. Now that just reminded me, you can only record up to a minute, 60 seconds of videos. That is the all you get with this. 
only one minute of videos that you can record. And I can understand these were designed with Instagram stories and reels and but it would have been cool to be able to record maybe at least maybe up to five minutes or 10 minutes, but 60 seconds is just not enough, man. Especially if you, if you record in like a, uh, I don't know, like a concert, one minute is just simply not enough. Hopefully in the foreseeable future, we'll see some sort of update to, you know, exceed that one minute limit. But another caveat also too, and it might not be a deal breaker for you, Vertical video is all you can record on the Meta Glasses. And uh, like I said, this is designed with Instagram Stories and Instagram Live and Facebook in mind. It's not designed for YouTube videos or long form content. It's designed for shorts and TikToks and just on the go, one, two, three, in and out, and that's it. It's not for long form content. And um, it's just, I just wish they have some sort of mode where you could be able to flip-flop between horizontal and vertical but you just can't do that that's probably my main two concerns when it comes down to recording video and as for the charging solution the battery life on these can last up to four hours now four hours isn't really enough considering that you're going to be wearing these all day anytime when your meta glasses die you put it into its charging case very similar to airpods and this looks just like regular ray-ban glasses case it looks exactly the same but you do have your indicator light but when you put the meta glasses in there it's going to be an actual amber light indicating that it is charging the glasses itself which by the way this charges via type c so i have my iphone 15 pro i can just bring one cable charge my sunglasses and charge my iphone and i could connect my iphone 15 to the glasses here so also another really sucky thing honestly no water resistance. Now, I don't want to be asking for too much, but let's say it rains outside. You don't want to get these wet. Uh, watch Mr. Mobile's video. He went on a water slide one time and, yo, the glasses do not like the water at all. Don't do it to yourself. You don't want to do it to yourself at all. And it just, it is a little unfortunate because if it is raining or if it's in, you know, if it's nasty outside, then, you know, you could potentially ruin these. The meta glasses, guys, Definitely something that I highly recommend. You know, I recommend the transitions because you can be indoor, they could be clear. When you're outside, they transition to sunglasses. They, they could have easily priced this at $1,000 or $500, but $380 is a fair price for Ray-Bans because not only they look like regular glasses, they also have cameras, a microphone, speakers. It, it doubles as AirPods and sunglasses together. And we all know AirPods cost $200, and if you get yourself sunglasses, hey, this could be a very strong value if you just get these. The Apple Vision Pro is killing the Meta glasses. I mean, they're two totally different products, but so who am I kidding? But anyway, I'm babbling here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Have a simple day. Also, too, I have this new mic. Let me know down in the comments down below how's the mic. Everybody has this mic, and I'm pretty sure it's going to sound pretty good on this video.